y'all doing, man? My name is Kevin Brown, and you watching Bedtime Stories. in my hand, man. It's called Don't Let Auntie Mabel Bless the Table. I love a good rhyme, man, so I know I'm gonna love this book, man. It already started off good, man, before I even turned the first page, man. So y'all know what to do. Go get your snacks. Go get your covers. Go get your sister, your brother. Y'all see how I just rhyme, right? Yeah, y'all see that. Y'all see that. But yeah, man, go get comfortable because we about to read Don't Let Auntie Mabel Bless the table. Let's do it. Don't let Auntie Mabel bless the table. Written by Vanessa Brantley Newton. Sunday dinner is always a treat. We go to Auntie Mabel's. We're ready to eat. Everyone is seated at the table. Everyone except dear Auntie Mabel. She is bringing mashed potatoes and a bowl of stewed tomatoes. Papa says it's time to pray. Let's give thanks for this good day. We all bow our heads in prayer. Auntie Mabel's voice fills the air. God is great. God is good. We thank him for this food. By his hand, we all be fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Now bless the corn and black-eyed peas, Virginia ham and mac and cheese. Bless the roast chicken. It's much too small. I'm sure, Lord, it won't feed us all. Bless the yams, sweet and sticky. Bless the Brussels sprouts, so, so icky. Bless the carrots and collard greens. Bless the gravy and lima beans. Bless the beets and pickled pig feet. Bless the meal we're about to eat. Dear Lord, bless the children and grown-ups too. Remember little Bobby and two buck two. Bless the president of the United States. Mama thinks he has a kind face. Bless the schools and all the teachers. Bless Pastor Bob. He's a swell preacher. Bless everyone sitting at this table. And please don't forget me. Auntie Mabel. Lord, bless the chairs and bless the papa stands up and clears his throat. To Auntie Mabel, I'd like to say, gracing the table shouldn't take all day. The food is cold. We'll have to reheat it before anyone here can even begin to eat it. Sorry, says Auntie Mabel. I didn't mean to pray so long. I really intended to sing a song. Please, Mabel, don't sing. Let's pray, says Papa. Bless everyone at our table. And Lord, don't forget Auntie Mabel. Amen. Boy, hey, I love this book. You want to know why? It's because of Auntie Mabel. You feel me? See, Auntie Mabel may have prayed for a long time, but to me, that wasn't necessarily a bad thing. You feel me? See, Auntie Mabel just thankful. You feel me? She thankful for everything she has, and she wants to make sure that God knows it. You know what I mean? Because it's a lot of people who go to bed every night with nothing to eat. Some people drink water to go to bed. They don't have anything to eat, man. So... Auntie Mabel, she understood that. And she was just telling God she's thankful for everything she has. Whatever you have that you're not thankful for, remember, it's somebody out here in this world who would kill to be in your position. You feel me? You don't have it that bad. No matter how bad you have it, someone has it worse. So I appreciate Auntie Mabel for thanking everything that she had. You feel me? But yeah, man. Y'all know what it is, man. I need y'all to tell me what y'all learned. 
Because I already know y'all learned something real special. You know what? Because y'all real special. Y'all are the future. You are the future president, the future astronaut, the future NBA player, the future. It's the future. Y'all are everything. So, yeah, man, tell me what y'all learned. Put it in the comments. Text me. Email me. Just let me know. And we're going to come back. We're going to do it again. So, like always, y'all know what to do. Be you. Be true. And be back. Tomorrow morning for the early word. And remember, be thankful for everything you have. It's always someone with less.